Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement, and that becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 202, Nasdaq's down 295. We got the S&Ps off 31.75 gold. Gold contract down $9, trading at 2,010 an ounce. We have silver down 43 cents, $24.95 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 28 cents. $75.63 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 27 ticks, trading 112.04. The 30-year down a full point, plus 17 ticks at 126.05. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 579 ticks, trading 100.856. The euro is at 111. The yen is trading out here at 140. And the British pound is at 128 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a little divergence here. You know, you get the S&P pulling back with pretty light volume, whereas the NASDAQ has monster volume. So if we take a look at the SPY, you're going to see the SPY is coming into, you know, 80 million. You only get 47. You know, that being said, as I said in the update, I do expect we're going to finish at the lows. Why? Because you get a high volume low that's, you get two high volume lows that are just sitting out there. So, well, we're right next to them right now, actually. So we're going to go test them again. Oh, look at the expansion. We're going to blow it away, man. Look at this expansion. Oh, baby, let's take a look at this. So we get nine minutes. You get an expansion of volume coming down into them. So what's going to happen here is this. The high volume low is at 4563. We're at 4565. Now, what I've seen is that when you get an expansion, actually, before you even get to the low or get to the high, your probability is much larger that you're going to accelerate on the next bar. So the next bar just started. This bar here, it, it tried, when we got that at low, the, the two bars that try to get higher in the futures was 19,000, 19, and 16,000. We just came down with 26,000, and your high volume low is 40,000. So I suspect we're going to try to get down into those, and we'll see whether we break them. NDX100, different ball game now. We take a look at the Qs. What you're going to see inside the Qs is that the Qs are already, already have 52 million. So the Qs are trading 376. 372 is going to be the first place it gets any type of support. So you get a big expansion of volume in the Qs. The Qs are going to end up doing about 70, 75, 80 million shares, which, which is that expansion. So they're, they're letting that loose. We go to the NQs, they go to the futures, and I suspect just as in the S&P, they're going to they're gonna really sell this baby down. Well, they already have. <laughs> uh, they just did the next leg down. Look at this. Yeah, they just did the next leg down. They got the volume behind the move. This has just been one leg down after the other. You're down 371, and inside the NDX, you know, that you're down 2%, man. That's a big number. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market out here. Yeah, the 10-year note, you're down 27 ticks. We're trading 1.4 million contracts. So let's see what we're going against, because I believe you're going against a lot heavy, heavier volume. So we're going against, yeah, you're going against 2 million. Now, you, you haven't held price, but the bottom line is that you're going to need a lot more volume than that in order to basically, you know, get and continue to go to lower price. And then the gold. We take a look at the gold market. We have with the gold market out here. Gold, it's pretty amazing that gold's only down $8.80, actually, with the, with the dollar starting to rally. But this, that's really cool, man. There's no doubt. You get 34,000 contracts. This, this is already in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And you get a pullback today, and you get a pullback with light volume. We go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. Different ball game. This dollar has some juice behind it. You get the wide price spread out here today. You know, the dollar's gone from uh, 
100.01 to 100.969. So it almost went up a full penny or a thousand ticks. We're up 569 right now. Now, if you take this and we put this on how it broke down, that's too far. What you're going to see, we bring this right across there. And this is a normal situation that, you know, you basically, you get a bounce going up to 101, approximately 101, like, well, 101, like 500. You know, so that's, that's not that much further than we are. We'll see if it can actually get further than that. Now, that's, that's on the full breakdown because we, we were building cars to do the breakdown, right? We did the breakdown, okay? It gets through it, has the wide price spread, has the accelerated, well, we don't have volumes on the, on the currencies. Gets through it on a wide price spread. When you bounce, normally what ends up happening is that you'll come back to that line. Now, let me just see what a point three eight two is on that whole move down. So if we take this back a little, a 0.382, it's coming around in the same place. A 0.382 is a 101.09. So I suspect that's what we're going to get out of this, folks. It's going to be a 101.09 to approximately a, a 101.500. We'll see where that goes. Uh, bottom line, you know. Some of the higher volume equities out here, you know, everyone went to Sherman Williams, but they started buying green out there as they have been lately. They bought red. You got Tesla's down $27. You got, uh, let's see, Apple's off two and a half bucks. You got Amazon off five and a half. Uh, well, actually, $5.9, $5.90. Google's down three fifty seven. You got Microsoft off, off eight eighty. <laughs> you know, we're at such high numbers, man. You know, these numbers always just keep getting bigger. You know, they're not big in the context of how large the number is trading at, but they're big in the context of how fast they can go down. And on up, because they've got up just as fast. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, up 214. NASDAQ down 300. S&P's off 31. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm Amazon Tim Ward.